Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad with Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, August 20th to August 26th 2018 so let's go first to the Tarot spread and the first position of the Tarot spread represents the uh, Taurus's topic of the week the second position will uh, refer to to, uh, to Taurus's uh, core of the situation here, third card, it, it marks the challenges that Taurus needs to overcome for that week, and the last card here represents the guidance that Taurus should follow. Alright, so uh, let's see what you got here. The first card that is going to be the Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords, it's about the, the pure truth if I may say it that way or let's say the pure um, diagnosis of your situation the most accurate diagnosis for your situation and that's why the Ace of Swords usually usually refers to a lot of conversations a lot of talking and a lot of negotiations as well either regarding your career or your relationship this card here points that you have to place some sort of a, a new beginning or a new starting point should I say that way and uh, that could happen only through higher negotiations and clear representation of what you're expecting to happen how you're expecting it to happen and uh, you know what you expect from other people you know how they are going to um, contribute for your well-being and uh, for your situation in general uh, uh, therefore this card could reflect you know a negotiation for a promotion into your career or just finding a new job for yourself and that card resembles the uh, performance that you're going to do uh, into the uh, in the interview that you're going to be called at or if we're talking about relationship here this card represents you know the honest conversations with your partner about what is wrong in, into one relationship how it can be improved and is a, a, every side of that relationship you know willing to do their um, their job in order to consolidate it and in order to kind of like you know stabilize it so it can be harmonious one the bottom line here with the ace of swords is that um, the individual which is under that energy can no longer be uh, resigned regarding what is going on around them. They, they need to do something, you know. And uh, usually people, uh, I cannot say really snap, but they realize that there is not much to be, lo to, to be lost if they do some kind of like uh, drastic measures here. And that's why the Ace of Swords also represents those kind of a drastic measures that one do in order to improve their personal circumstances. And the core of the situation situation or why this is happening here that is going to be the ten of cups all right that's interesting uh, the ten of cups here in your case sources represents the realization that you have reached a uh, the peak uh, of your cycle of development and now you basically need to stray for something bigger for something greater and you need to stray for more uh, the, uh, the ten of pentacles represents the emotional fulfillment and satisfaction of the current flow of events but also as i said the realization that this is the maximum you can achieve based on the current conditions you do have therefore you have to start negotiating a and new conditions as I said you know conditions for a promotion for example you may confront your boss here saying hey what what I got to do here so I can get the promotion you know or um, your relationship for example where you confront your partner and say okay we're dating here for a couple of uh, years now um, do, are you even thinking about getting engaged with one another you know are you thinking even about marriage here uh, you know how you, what is your vision in general for us going forward with our relationship this is about the ten of cups it does represent that human nature that we do have that we do possess that we always want more no matter how much we got right now we always want more we always want to improve what we do have we always want to add versatility into our uh, daily routine into our code of conduct you know into our uh, 
being in general. So yeah, that week for you Tauruses is going to be about uh, growing uh, into a new height regarding your, own, your already ongoing current undertakings. The challenges that you have to overcome here, that we have a person that will be the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> now this this could be female or a male. Uh, now I don't like I don't like actually to um, look at tarot as uh, the queens are are females and the um, the kings are males because the court card represents characters. They don't represent genders. So. Uh, yeah, that, that is a, a person that you have to overcome uh, in that particular position, very selfish one, very independent, okay, someone who is capable to sustain themselves on their own, someone who is capable to push their things on their own, and someone who is very um, aware how to use other people around them. Now, you need to know that the character of the Queen of Wands, it is a, a very... How can I place it in a certain, especially into a negative position, very surreptitious person in the sense of that they are using other people without these people even knowing it for their own means, you know. So that person is most likely going to use some of your performance, some of your work, or you in general without you even knowing it for their personal means. Now, how you can... Um, how you, how you can identify that person? Well, they have a knack for life. They like to enjoy life. So most likely uh, they like to go out on a bars, pubs, discos, etc, etc. They like to enjoy themselves. They involve themselves into those kind of amusing activities which are not, um, which are not tightly um, stringed to uh, their well-being in a sense of this is not about job, this is not about relationship, this is all about personal joy and personal satisfaction here. <laughs> that they are contributing most of their time. But also that person has a, a very acute business sense, all right? And as I said, they have a, a acute sense of the human nature as they know how to use people around them. So you have to be very uh, careful when that person approach you in any way. And the last card here that represents the guidance that you should follow, this is going to be the Devil card. So the Devil card, it is about yearnings and it is about, you know, um, a primal impulse, a primal urge. Um, something like uh, the, animal, the animals that got. For example, you know, when an animal is angry, uh, is not angry, but it is hungry, excuse me, they are kind of like, you know, they're doing what they have to do um, in order to kind of, you know, in, in order to feed themselves. Therefore, this is the guidance for you here. You got to do what you have to do in order to, kind of, to negotiate your better future uh, without... Uh, having a regards to what this is going to, how this is going to affect the other people around you because uh, when I look at this card I do suspect that this is a, a competition that woman or that man and that person is negotiating their future for your behalf in a sense of the let's say that we are going for the promotion here there is only one place or one open place for the promotion and this person is negotiating that promotion without you even knowing it and that's why you have to do what you got to do here in order to get the place but you negotiating it even harder you know even being more pushy more bruising upon your boss uh, let's say and um, in general more tenacious now the devil the devil card is a card of a of great power that ones have um, based on their primal instincts and based on their primal urges here it's about the hunger as i said a hunger for money a hunger for law for example a, herb, a hunger for well-being and when one channels that energy uh, correctly then one is um, capable to achieve great things however you know when that uh, 
when that power, should I say, or that hunger, it slumbered beneath, then uh, one starts to abuse people around them, and uh, one also starts feeling kind of like um, um, one is starting to feeling themselves um, mistreated from the universe itself. It is like you deserve certain thing, but uh, somehow you cannot. The, the universe isn't giving it to you. So. Uh, Again, Taurus says, just do what you got to do, guys. It is all about that. And what you got to do here, according to these cards, is just negotiate your, um, your new conditions and your new rules, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. Because if you don't, someone else will for their own personal benefits and you will left there hanging. Uh, let's see now what the... Um, Lenormand has to say, we have the book which is a secret here, then is the, um, the mountain, so <clears throat> secret uh, difficulties here, secret delays caused by a man, so this is a, a man, this isn't a woman here, it is someone who secretly, surreptitiously, it is causing you difficulties, delays, predicaments, so they can... Um, they can be first at the finish line so accept this as a uh, race and your competition at the race is using uh, unfair unfair means so they are not playing by the rules right and uh, that's why you have to be one step ahead here by starting your conversations and negotiations straight away so that being said, Tauruses, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.